Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome to another amazing read. Go grab your stuffy. Let's do this. How are you doing? I hope you are enjoying the summer. Don't waste the sun. Well, today's read is called A Squiggly Story, and it's written by Andrew Larson, and the illustrations are by Mike Lowry. Let's get into this read. A Squiggly Story. My sister loves to read. Big words and little words, page after page, word after word. My sister loves to write. Big words and little words, page after page, word after word. Sometimes I pretend I can write too. Big letters and little letters. Swirl after swirl, squiggle after squiggle. What are you doing? I ask one day while we're sitting at the kitchen table. I'm writing a story. I wish I could write a story. You can. It's easy. How? I know my letters, but I don't know many words. Write what you know. Every story starts with a single word, and every word starts with a single letter. Why don't you start there with a letter? Hmm. So I get my crayons and pencils and a pad of paper and I start to write. I start with a single letter. It's an easy letter. I, that's me. That's a good beginning. Now what? What's going to happen? How should I know? It's your story. You're the boss. I, what? I'm stuck. What happens in my story? I draw a circle. It's a soccer ball. Wait, what? <laughs> I owe. <laughs> then I write another letter. It's Y O U. I say to my sister, I owe you. I'm playing soccer with you. <laughs> Great. Where are we playing soccer? Hmm. Maybe we're playing on the beach, I guess. We've never played soccer on the beach. I've never played soccer on the beach, have you? So I do a bunch of dots for the sand on the beach. Then I make a bunch of V's, big V's and little V's, wave after wave in the ocean. Now what? What do you mean? You have a beginning. Now we are in the middle of the story. Ah, something else has to happen so we can get to the end. I'm stuck again. Hmm, I start to doodle. Hmm, I doodle another V. But this time I doodle it upside down. Ooh, good thinking. Oh no, it's a shark. It's getting closer and closer. I flake the book to get away from the shark. The next morning, I bring my story to school. It's my turn for show and tell. That means I get to sit in Mrs. Singh's chair. Everyone else sits on the carpet ready to listen. That's Mrs. Singh. Last night, I started to write a story. It's sort of squiggly, but here goes. Once upon a time, there was a brother and a sister, and they loved to play soccer. One day, they had an idea. They decided to play soccer on the beach. So they went to the beach and played soccer. Then they noticed something coming toward them in the water. It was a shark, a real life shark. It was getting closer and closer and it was getting bigger and bigger. <gasps> and that's as far as I got. That's wonderful, says Mrs. Singh. What happens next? What about the shark? What about the brother and the sister? I don't know, I'm stuck. Class, does anyone have an idea? I do, I do. Jake waves his hand in the air. Maybe one of them kicks the ball and it hits the shark in the head. Then maybe the shark bites the ball with his big pointy shark teeth. Ooh. Aliyah offers another idea. What if the shark's name is Squiggles? What if Squiggle is a vampire shark? What if she invites the brother and sister to ride on her back? And what if they become a vampire family and live forever? 
Vampires can swim. Everyone knows that. Of course they can swim. Vampires can do anything. <laughs> but it's my story. And I don't want vampires in my story. If I was writing a story, I'd have lots of vampires. Then you should write one. But I like yours. That night after dinner, I sit down beside my sister. Her face is buried in a book. I've been thinking about my story all day and I still don't know how to end it. Remember, you're the author, she says, without looking up. You can do whatever you want. So, I get my pencil and I start with a bunch of stories. Then I add a few exclamation marks. My sister told me exclamation marks make things exciting. She's right. It's exciting. And I add a couple of slanty lines. Ooh, what's going on? Asked my sister, looking up from her book. It's night time. The stars are out. The shark has gone away. And we decide to take a walk on the beach. That's when we discover this giant rocket ship. That sounds cool. What happens next? We hear a voice. It's countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! <laughs> Not yet. I say, add him one more squeal. Just before the rocket blasts off, we spy a Martian looking out through a window. The Martian invites us to climb the board. That's a great ending. Now I have an idea for my next story. It's going to be about a boy who climbs aboard a rocket ship and takes a trip to Mars. And I think I know just how to begin. The end. Oh, I really love this book. This is how to write a story, my friends. All you just need is to start with a letter. A letter and your imagination. Write a story. Go ahead. Go do it. Go write a story. Go write a book. And I too, I will write a story and I will write a book. And I hope you can share yours with me. I will share mine with you. Until the next time, thank you so very, very much for reading with me. And who's amazing? You. You are so amazing. And keep on reading.